we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun <clears throat> well, I'm in the middle of absolutely nowhere, but I thought I'd show you guys something. I bought another fucking car! Oh my god, it's so sick! <laughs> this is our new car, this is mine and Lozzie's car. It's a Holden Rodeo 2008 3 litre turbo diesel. This is the start of a new beginning, baby. I have been searching so long to find a good car and we just, this is it, this is us. Six grand, $6,000 and it is absolutely in like pretty much perfect condition. Nothing wrong with it mate, nothing wrong with it. Exactly what I was looking for, like exactly. Heaps of space in the back, heaps of space in the front, four wheel drive. Their engines are made by Isuzu so they absolutely just last forever. That's why I kind of wanted this one. This is gonna. This is what's gonna take me and Loz to WA and beyond. I just pulled up on the side of uh, uh, fucking nowhere. I'm about to go get Jackson, and we're gonna go to the beach because he just flew up um, back to Mullum so he can do the drive back with me. I'm going back to Melbourne by the end of the week, I reckon. That's why I had to buy this car because holy fuck, man! I <laughs> it was kind of on me, but. Um, I was like, I've been up here in isolation for who knows, like two months now, and it's been awesome, but I think it's time to go back to Melbourne and, you know, get my life back on the wheels. So I kind of was like, fuck, I need to buy a car and I need to sell my car. So I put up my car for sale and pretty much bought this in like a week, which was so stressful because I had to figure out what kind of car I wanted, what kind of car I needed, which ones were good, which ones were shit. And it was so fucking stressful because I had to like sell my car ASAP to get the money to buy this and Lozzie chipped in to buy it because it's um, basically it's our share car so we'll go, we'll, we both paid and we'll both take it to WA and I'm going to teach him how to drive um, on the drive to WA which would be fucking lit because I'm so sick of just driving everyone. But yeah, this is going to be probably my last video in the Northern Rivers. It's been awesome. We've done a lot of, I've done a lot of stuff. I came up two months ago, drove up, left everyone back down there, took my little Yaris and made the trip back up to, you know, wait out isolation. I've done a lot of stuff since I've been up. We, from, you know, boating. I'm the one that goes oh, fuck up. <laughs> I just walk around, everybody knows. I'm the one that doesn't care. Spear fishing on the world to give me something true a reason to change my view skating and to wake up each day with a smile on my face but there's something in the just air camping with the boys hanging out with the family going to see my little I sisters taking them spear fishing um, just everything a lot of the stuff is starting to ease so i thought now's probably a good time to get back go back to melbourne and then back into it back into the swing of things and finish this course because i'm so over it <laughs> such a relief to finally have a car i i was carless for like three days and i was like going fucking crazy because i couldn't go anywhere being in the northern rivers without a car everyone will know whoever's from the northern rivers everyone will know it sucks there's no public transport there's like a bus every Fucking blue moon. A lot of people have been like, you're an idiot for, you know, trying to sell your car in a week and then buying another one and all that. And I probably could have taken a little bit more time to, you know, figure out what kind of car I wanted and just take it slow and make sure I get the right thing. But like, I ended up with the right car. This is exactly what I wanted and it's a really good car. But yeah, <clears throat> um, it was super stressful, but I'm kind of glad I did it because like, I think Trying to sell my car and buy another one within a week, it really taught me a lot about four-wheel drives and utes and Prados and Toyotas and all the different types of cars that I could have got 
and what to kind of look out for when inspecting a car. So it kind of forced me to learn a lot about cars really quickly. So now I'm much more knowledgeable than I was before and I know what to look out for and I know, you know, what can go wrong with them and all of that shit. Thanks to Uncle Nick, the absolute mad dog. Um, yeah, I've done a whole bunch of shit. Yesterday we went hunting. My older brother Kai, he, he took us hunting. I got to his at like five o'clock in the morning and from there we all got in his troopy we fucking boosted out past casino out west to go to uh, a state forest out there to look for some and it was freezing but it was a beautiful brisk walk i'll show you some of the footage oh this is mad Bastard. It's freezing actually. I think yeah, I what are you doing with yourself my knees are cold <laughs> yeah yeah um, what's going on? I'll call it a pond call. Reckon? When they run like that, if there's a group of more, you fucking run after them. After that, we kind of lost a lot of hope in that stupid pine forest, so we boosted back out towards the coast, towards Broom's Head, and there we found some awesome land to go stalk some kangaroos, and we were stalking them for absolutely ages. And it was so fun, just like sneaking up on them and being quiet, and like we were stalking them for like two and a half hours easy and we got really close kai got within like 20 meters of them of a whole herd or whatever underneath the underneath the bushes and stuff which is crazy because they are there's always the big bucks and the males who keep the eyes out keep eyes on the horizon watching for any danger and stuff over the their family and we just had to be aware of them and we we were going between trees and all of that so it was fucking awesome but yeah by the end of the day, we kind of were absolutely starving and we had nothing but a couple of lost arrows. We're starting to lose hope and then we were just going down some dirt roads and um, we, by this time my GoPro was out of charge, but we were going down dirt roads. It was late afternoon, so the sun was coming over the bushes and we saw a couple of kangaroos like right next to the road and we pulled up and we were like, fuck, yes, this is it, this is it. And we are like, Kai was like, oh, should we do it? And we are like, yeah, fucking do it. So he got out, took an arrow, and just went, it just went straight through the heart from 32 meters away, which was incredible. Like, that was an amazing shot. The heart is like this big. And this guy just fucking buzz straight through the heart. And it, it went down really quick. It was actually, it was pretty full on seeing it, like... It's very different to spearfishing and it's very different to just hunting like the I don't know the the psychology of it was pretty full on the emotions we all went through we you know freaked out a bit but we managed to stay on top of it and it had a really quick death which is really good so it preserves the meat but yeah it was <clears throat> it's just crazy seeing that big of an animal and go down like that um but at the end of the day, you know, if everyone had to hunt to eat their food like that, I would guarantee a lot of people wouldn't eat meat. It's, it's a fucking crazy reality of hunting is you, you're killing something. Um, you're killing a live animal and you're killing something that's a part of a family, you know, and it was just brutal to kind of see all that happen. But it was, at the same time, it was really good for me to learn that because I do want to um, get a kangaroo on my way to WA with Loz. We'll talk about the WA trip and all of that in a future episode with Loz once I'm down in Melbourne. But um, it, I just, yeah, it was really good to see how it all goes down and 
learn how to prepare it, learn how to, you know, gut it and clean it and make sure the meat is all good, make sure there's no bacteria left in it and all of that. So it was a big day. But we're going to have a big barbecue with everyone um, pretty soon. We're just going to let the meat rest for a couple of days and then we'll invite everyone over, have a big cook up, maybe make some jerky and do some roux tail stew and all of this. There's heaps of meat to go around. It'll feed the family for ages. That was awesome. I'm glad we got something at the end of the day. But yeah, it's been a journey and a half up here. Fucking did so much stuff. I just went and hung out with everyone. Jace is up. Um, he finished his police course and now he came up for a little holiday. So we all went out to coffee this morning. Got a little snack and sat by the river. What's up guys? Yo yo, vlog vlog. Vlog number vlogging. zero zero one. Zero zero one, yep. I'm gonna go to Jackson, get that boy, because I haven't seen him in a long time. I'm gonna go to the beach and just hang out, but yeah. But yeah. Thanks guys. I hope you like my new car, because I fucking love it. And it is just, there's gonna be some really awesome camping videos and whatever else is on the horizon. And I am so keen to get back to Melbourne and move on from all of this. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. I've been sitting here for fucking 15 minutes. Talking smack, mate. I'm at the Splendor Grounds, just hanging. I was about to get on the highway to go see Jax. Bye, everybody. Love yous. I was just driving in my new car, and guess what? That's my old car right there. Oh, look how cute it looks. Hello, little old car. I can't believe I fucking ran into it. That's hilarious. Aww. The future is bright.